Okay, welcome. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and this is question uh, a question from the Dr. Frost assignment I set for the um, Chapter 2 functions. I think it's like the third homework assignment of Term 1 from P3. And this question here is um, about functions. It's the first question, actually, and I thought it was a, a relatively simple question. I didn't look at it properly when I set it. It's a bit more involved than, you know, what I would like for the first question, but no problem. Um, just chucking you guys up, chucking you in the deep end, but it, actually it's not that bad. You can you can um, you know figure it out if you just use a bit of thinking, All right? So one of the students has asked me to explain the question. So we have here, f x plus two is equal to x squared minus two. So we don't have the original function. We don't know what f of x is. Okay, it's something, All right? Now we need to find what f of x is so that we can find f of x minus two. So once we find f of x, we can then substitute x minus two in there. And then we'll have, you know, the function f of the f of x minus two. So now, first of all, let's focus on what we have here. We have f of x plus two equals x squared minus two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write f of x plus two here, and I'm going to start building up this function and seeing, you know, what it becomes when I substitute x plus two in there. Now I've got an x squared in my answer, so there must be there must be an x squared in the original function because I'm going to put x plus two in there put x plus 2 in there, it's going to be squared to give you an x squared term. But you'll, of course, have more than an x squared, x squared term. So let's see what we get. When we put x plus 2 in here, you're going to have here x, x plus 2 squared. All right, so now let me just um, build up a bit more. So I have f x plus 2 is equal to, this will give me x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now, what we want here is x squared minus 2. So the first thing I'm going to focus on is the x. I want to get rid of this plus 4x. Now, how am I going to get rid of this plus 4x? Well, if I have minus 4x in the original function, I'll have to substitute x plus 2 into that, and that will give me a minus 4x, but also give me something else. So that's the first step, but minus 4x. So that, that when I substitute x plus 2 into this function, it will be minus 4 times x plus 2. So that's going to give me minus 4x and minus 8. Okay, so I'm going to write this down, minus 4x and minus 8. So now I've got x squared plus 4x plus 4. That's from this part. Now I've got minus 4x and minus 8. So that's that's got rid of the minus 4x. I've now got rid of the minus 4x. So I'm left now with, if I write down what I've got here, fx plus 2 equals, this leaves me with x squared, and I'm going to have plus 4 and minus 8, which is minus 4. It's not quite there yet, right? Because I have to have end up with x squared minus 2. So that means I have to have another 2 added to this. So I'm going to put plus 2 here, and that will give me a plus 2 here, and a plus 2 here, and a plus 2 there, which will give me what I'm looking for, which is f of x plus 2 is equal to x squared, sorry, uh, minus 4 plus 2, which is minus 2. Okay, x squared minus 2, which is what I was looking for. That's what I wanted to find. Okay, so I found an expression. When I put x plus 2 into it, I get x squared minus 2. If you want to just make sure... We've got, x, we've got fx, f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 2. Let's put fx plus 2 in there and see, just make sure. That gives me x plus 2 squared minus 4 times x plus 2 plus 2, which gives me um, x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 4x minus 8 plus 2, which gives us x squared, the 4x and the minus 4x cancel out, you got 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 minus 8 is minus 2. So we can see that we've got the right expression for f of x. So we know that f of x now is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 2. But the question doesn't end there. It says find an expression for f x minus 2. So now what we've got to do is substitute f of x, uh, x minus 2 inside this function. So we replace the x with the x minus 2. You have x minus 2 squared minus 4 times x minus 2 and plus 2, which gives you x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 4x plus 8 plus 2. So you have x squared minus 8x. 4 plus 8 is 12 plus 2 is 14. And there's your answer. Now, in the Dr. Frost answers, they have it as a, in a different way. They have basically expressed it in the, the correct answer is as the same thing as this, but completed the square. So what they have is they have x minus 4 squared, okay, and 
of course if you complete the square of this you've got to take away 16 and add 14 at the end take away the square of this 4 and that gives you x minus 4 squared minus 2 that's what it says in the answers but this is I'm sure if you type this in your answer your answer will be considered correct as well if it doesn't it should be okay but that that's because these two are exactly the same okay this and this are the same it doesn't mention you have to express it in any form so that's fine to leave your answer in that form so I hope that was clear and um, the answer for this question and if you want to see other questions from the Dr. Frost Maths chapter 2 um, kind of questions you can click on this playlist if you want to see other questions from functions P3 chapter 2 click on this playlist and um, yeah so that's basically the question answered for you for the student that asked it I hope that was clear and see you soon.